To open the program, click on the Perkinamer Spectrum icon. In the Setup Instrument Basic tab, you will see that the current holder is the basic transmission module. We can adjust the start and end wavelength. We can change the abscissia and ordinate units, select the resolution. The scan type is typically left as sample. Finally, we want to enter the number of scans for the measurement. In the Instrument Advanced tab, we typically keep the CO2 H2O correction on. We recommend keeping the apodization to medium. The scan speed is adjusted to change the signal to noise and collection time. Slower provides higher signal to noise but longer collection time. If the results you are getting are strange, click Restore Defaults. The same way, in the Setup Instrument Basic tab, you can also click Restore Default when unsure. Under Setup Instrument Data Collection, in the Auto Save option, Save Location, select your own folder. We also recommend automatically exporting the data as you collect them, so be sure to update the Save Export Location to your own folder as well. Before collecting the data, we must first check that the beam path is clear. We open the sample chamber and see that the module is the basic transmission module. The beam path is indeed clear. We can close the lid and make sure it latches. We are now ready to measure our background. All we need to do to collect the background is click on the background icon. It will collect the background using the number of accumulations and the parameters we already set. The background measurement is done. We can now mount our sample. We open the sample chamber and can place the sample in using double-sided tape, being mindful not to have any of the tape in the beam path. Again, we close the lid and make sure it latches. Here we type the sample name. Then we can click Scan. This is our transmission pattern. We can switch to the next sample, change the sample ID, and click Scan again. Note, if we change any of the scan settings, we will need to measure a new background. The background should always be collected for at least as many scans as the sample measurement. If we need to change the module, we lift the lid, squeeze the green handle underneath, we pull the module out, then place the new module by sliding it in gently and pushing it in until it properly plugs into the port in the back of the sample chamber. The software now displays that the accessory used is Diffuse IR. We can remove the sample holder by sliding it out carefully. This new module is the Diffuse IR accessory. It measures diffuse reflectance. The sample sits in a half inch diameter sample holder. Two samples can be mounted in the holder at once typically one for the reference mirror and the other one for the sample. Slide the sample holder back into the module. As you slide the holder in, you will fill two locations with a little resistance, defining accurately the proper location for each sample. We want to first measure the reference mirror since it will give us the pattern for our background. In the software, you can see that we are in interferogram mode. It is the mode we need to adjust the focus of our sample. We need to check the preview box to get a live interferogram. Type a name for the sample, then click Scan. Now that we have a pattern, we can adjust the micrometer, adjusting the focus of the beam onto the sample. We want to maximize the signal. A horizontal cursor can help in finding the optimal focus. Once focused, we can click Halt. Let's delete the patterns we previously collected. Let's type a sample name. In this case, we will use the mirror as the sample after we measure the background. Let's now switch to Sample for the scan type instead of Interferogram. 
we can now click background to measure our background. We now want to measure our mirror as a sample. We need to remember to uncheck the preview box. Then we can click scan. We can see that we have 100% reflectance as expected. Let's now move to our other sample. We want to adjust the focus by switching to interferogram and checking the preview box followed by clicking scan. While we have a live scan, let's adjust the focus. Now that the signal is optimized, we can click Halt. Uncheck the preview box, switch back to Sample for the scan type, then click Scan. We can now see our sample's pattern. For each sample, we need to readjust the focus using the interferogram. When done, we close the software and place the standard transmission module back in.